Okay. We crashed, so there's no intro. And I'm not remaining. doing it again because we're in the draft again. This is Newbie versus Navi. There's a picnic going on. Navi's <laughs> Everyone bring your baskets. But I think, uh, I, think we're I think we're good to go now. I think we're good. Yeah. So sure. like I like I was saying, which a lot of people in the VODs are not gonna hear, Navi's six and four right now, newbie one and nine. Ugh, what happened to this team? Yeah. They were one of the favorite teams to make top four for pretty much all of us. And they just haven't shown up for this tournament at all. Uh, they're at a point now where even in order to get a chance at getting to the main event, which top 12 do, they need to win almost the rest of their games. And Five that's pretty... Remaining. It's, a tall it's, not like they order. Have, it's not like they have easy games ahead of them either. Navi have been looking pretty good lately, so this is going to be one of the harder ones I think they have to deal with. But they do ban out Chen and X, which I think is a good start at approaching Navi. Getting rid of the X, I think it's been one of their key heroes. I would maybe have banned Juggernaut over the Chen, actually, into the Navi team, who will ban out Batrider and Medusa. And they're going to get their first phase Rubik pick, as per usual, as well as the Juggernaut. Oh, yeah. Against the Troll. Oh, yeah. Well, where's Shadow Ten Fiend, huh? Remaining. Well, the newbie's kind of weird. They, they, I feel like they're... We've Five been talking about this a bit. Remaining. They haven't really adapted as well as a lot of other teams in this tournament Reserve to the, the current meta game. I mean, the, I think the first game we cast of theirs, and it was the only game they won, <laughs> was them picking a TI4 strat. Yeah, Remember? they played With like Luna. Yeah. Luna Enchantress. They even had a Disruptor in that. That was the only win Disruptors had so far in the tournament, I think. And that's the only win Newbies had as well. Yeah. That's actually kind of crazy. The one strange. win they've had is the game that we cast of them. I don't know why that's so crazy, but it's just... That is just crazy. Crystal back. Newbies turn to ban. You know, I have this feeling. Okay, so I, I'm i a little bit torn here. I said on the panel earlier today, I was like, okay, I think Newbie are a broken team, and they're going to lose the rest of the games, which Andrew agreed with me on. But now that I think about it, it's going to be either Ten or, I think. Remain. Either they win the rest of their games... Or they go one and fourteen. Nowhere in between. Five Nowhere in between. Remaining. Nowhere I disagree. in between. I think they beat HGT. Um, They're at a point of all in now. Either they get their shit together and they start playing playing Dota, or they get knocked out. No, well, I think they're gonna get knocked out anyway. Not if they win all. Then we'll they're gonna go to the losers bracket, and then it's a long road, but they could make it. I. There's pretty much no. Like, based on the results we've seen from Navi, them and the play we've seen from them, there's probably no reason to expect them to do, well, like, fairly well. But from they Dark. won with us casting. Maybe we're their good luck charm. That's possible. How many more newbie games are we casting? <laughs> do they have a chance because of us? This is the only newbie game we're casting today. Oh, boy. No, you're casting one more. Oh, boy. Actually, later. Okay. That's the HGT one. You said they were going to win that, so. Yeah, I think they will. Well, we'll see about this one. They're going to ban the Magnus of Dendi. With uh, Navi already picking up the Juggernaut, yes, that seems like a good ban. idea. As Navi will ban out Io. Navi's turn it's to maybe ban. an instant Viper ban. Has Dendi even played that this tournament? I don't know. It's a good hero against both Troll and Bristle, though. The attack speed slow, the movement speed slow. These are two cores that are very dependent on being mobile in the fight. So getting rid of Viper's slows Ten could be a good choice for Newbie. And Navi, they should probably ban another support. There's Five already two cores being shown remaining. by Newbie. Might as well ban the secondary support they don't want to have to deal with. It's going to be the Enchantress of Banana. Navi's turn Love to Love that pick. name. And what's it going to be now? Well, the spin to win heroes are all out now. Yeah. And two cores for Newbie, so they're going to need some supports. Navi, on the other hand, who's the Dendi hero? Who who does he like these days, other than the Magnus? Um... Hmm. Ten seconds. I like remaining. him on heroes that rotate early, get rune control. Five seconds remaining. And can gank with potential burst damage. Uh, Reserve time. Like a Quap or something to that effect. Quap is actually pretty decent against Bristleback. Quap's pretty good here. She yeah. does well in lane against Troll. Yeah. Which is probably going to be the matchup. Shadow Strike been buffed so many times it becomes OP. Do you think that's OP? It's. It's her most annoying Shadow spell. Fiend. That was the alternative. Newbies, it's a hero we've seen a lot lot on the rise in this tournament, the Shadow Fiend. 
Dendi did play this against Vichy Gaming yesterday, but they did lose. Although I saw Dendi's inventory, he was pretty damn farmed. But they couldn't beat a lineup consisting of Medusa and Drow, which mm. is understandable in late game. That's just filthy. Both of which are still available. Never mind, Medusa's gone. Yeah, that's true. Ten Both seconds are remaining. still available apart from one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Five Visage Drow's still remaining. there. That's actually right, but w I don't think we've really seen Newbie play Reserve that style. Yeah. I I think they want to pick the support first, so... Honestly, Navi could do Visage Drow if they really wanted to. That would be disgusting. Yeah, that could work. Although Juggernaut doesn't really benefit that much. At all. <laughs> Well, she like he likes having a woman on the team. It's diversity. That's something. Does he have any lines with that? No. <laughs> okay. Actually, I have no idea. They're gonna get Lich. Navi's turn and to pick. Lich. Mm. He's really good lane dominator. It's nice for the armor against both Jugger and Shadowfin mid game. Yeah. However, you do give Rubik the chance of stealing Chain Frost, which I think is really good against Newbie's lineup because Bristle and Troll will be running in your face together. And you can bounce it between them. So it's a little bit of a downside, but apart from that, if they can avoid that happening, Lich Bristle, in my opinion, one of the absolute best dual off lanes in the game. It's very powerful. Uh, Bristleback is a strong laner, but can be harassed out. That does generally not happen when he plays together with Lich. And they're running it into what should be a Juggernaut Rubik at this point, which they should easily win against that lane. Uh, so that's an, uh, a nice idea coming out for Newbie. We'll see if Navi have uh, an answer to this. I think they pick the Funic hero now. And I wouldn't mind seeing him on Puck. This game. There it is. The Bane. Newbies <laughs> is this the first Bane of the entire tournament? It might be. Second. I remember he was on the... Like, as of yesterday, he had not been picked. This could be. Oh, so he was in the wild card then. Because I think he was picked once. Oh, okay. But that might not have been the group stage. I do recall seeing a Bane. Interesting. So, Enfeeble, going to go to work. Although, a lot of Banes have not been picking that up. He will this game. That is so damn good against both Bristle and Troll. Ten seconds it's, it's actually a cool idea, because, you know, if you look at the enemy team and, they're, and you're like, okay, they have Five a lot of attack speed because remaining. of Troll Warlord Zolt, you either counter it by, you know, locking them down, the classic just stunning them, Ghost Scepter or whatever, uh, so either they don't attack or they can't attack, but what if you just let them attack but they deal no damage? Mm. Then that's a that's another nice idea. I really like Bane as a solution to Newbie's lineup so far. I think it's uh it's a nice counter pick on paper to this heavy physical damage that teams are playing these days. Night Stalker. Whoa, Night Stalker. Navi's turn to ban. Is this a farming Night Stalker or is it a farming Bristleback? It's a farming Night Stalker, and they'll off lane Lich Bristle. I still think. Oh, so it's gonna be a two one two. Yes, probably. I still think you offlane, you can offlane Lich Bristle remaining. against this trial lane of Na Navi's. This one thing, the Five one problem they have remaining. is that their support duo aren't that good together. You generally want to have Bane to set up a nightmare into some sort of powerful Reserve spell, time. like either a Lina lunch, uh, lunch strike array, uh, light that strike array, delicious. or an, an arrow from Mirana, something like that. But you set up a nightmare into telekinesis, whoop the fucking who, that does like almost nothing, right? So that does not sound like a saying that you should be saying. No? It just doesn't fit your no? it doesn't <sighs> fit personality me. at all. Okay, I'm sorry. Whoop the um, whoop day effing do. Whoop the whoop the ho horse. That's better. Uh, everything gets better with a little bit of horse. So anyway, the uh, the thing about Newbie's lane in that sense is that, first of all, the nightmare setup into any sort of combo is not good against dual lanes because you can just juggle the nightmare, right? Between the, the targets. And uh, alternatively, I want to see a centaur here for Navi. A funic centaur. Yeah, centaur is good. I still I think mean, Puck is a nice choice. It's also good against Night Stalker. They kind of counter each other. Mm -hmm. uh, if he gets the silence off, Puck's in trouble. Ten if he doesn't, however, remaining. Dreamcall is a really great way of keeping enti the entirety of Newbie's place uh, team in place remaining. and disallowing them from uh, from getting their mobility going, which is what Navi are really looking for. Neither team has Reserve really, time. other than maybe Bane with a lot of that crowd control, also no actual stuns, really. I mean, you have, like, Lich can t cancel Bane's ult, Nice Stalker's Void, but no, like, AoE ults, Warlock. and, well, there's there's okay. one. Okay. Newbies, Warlock. But this... Pick. Core Warlock. So who's playing Warlock, then? Yeah, these these lanes, uh, I think, is it just an offlane Warlock for Funic? 
and then... Or do they safe lane it and play an aggressive trial lane? I so think they could get away Shadow with that, actually. Bane Rubick is not too bad. Or not Shadow uh, Fiend, I mean Juggernaut. Juggernaut, yeah. Juggernaut Bane Rubick against Ten seconds what we're remaining. Uh, considering is going to be a 2-1-2, two -two, then they should win. Five yeah, that's not too bad. Remaining. I mean, I would love to see that because Juggernaut... That means you, in all likelihood, will level up Blade Fury, right? Reserve More than time. one time. Ten seconds if you want to do that. Yeah, you should do that if you're running and that kind of a lane. I like Probably. watching that kind Shadow of Shaman. Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman, last, Shadow Shaman newbie. last. Classic newbie hero from TI4. Yeah. They have a very good player on it in both... Well, both Banana and Sunshine, I think, actually play it very Banana well. Banana Hammock. <laughs> Banana Hammock. I would like to see Warlock down bottom, so we'll see what happens. So let's go to the lines before we get it. get into this game. As the courier, Actually, you know we never call out the courier, so we're gonna start that trend now. Navi, gonna be using the unusual Drodo Druffin, which is one of my favorite couriers. It's worth a lot of money. It's like by a lot of money, I mean like three hundred dollars. Goblack, on the Bane today. Dendi, of course, Shadow Fiend, Funic, the Warlock, Vanscor on the Rubik, and last but not least, the Juggernaut, playing by Havost. Your turn, starting with this newbie this is another international they have uh damn what's this courier called it's called the lockjaw yep. from ti2 with a little bit of a blue flame glow that has a name that i don't know because i'm not really into cosmetics one third as much as you are so i don't really know the terminology but i can still appreciate it and enjoy it even though i'm kind of a noob in that regard mm -hmm. just like with dota sunshine will be playing as shadow shaman night stalker by moo Banana onto Lich. Fogged had a good point. He just wrote to me on Steam. He was like, I like how a Suns fan only says banana's name. It's probably because it's food. <laughs> <laughs> I am pretty hungry right now. Then you should also say Rabbit, though, who yeah, is playing uh, Troll. I've never had Rabbit before. And then we have Hal as Bristlebank. No, me neither. There's some right clicks. Goblack has Nightmare available if he wants to use it. Might use it just to get this rune. I think they might kill him, too. Let's see. We'll see yeah, about He gets that. the rune. He gets a nice rolling axe off range edition. Rabbit. A lot of trouble. Look at the HP just dropping down. He goes in a right click of Goblack. Dendi looks as if he's going to follow suit. So it's a one for one. It could be more how. No mana to speak of for that cool spray. Funic. But there's mana for Banana. And he gets the Nova off. Here comes how. Lands the last attack onto Goblack's Bane. And it's all in all a two for two exchange because Night Stalker randomly died in the top part of the river. There's the comma from Henry Dickinson as he cannot control himself and has to slam his keyboard as <laughs> that kill should really not have happened, but Hvost and Vanscore together make it happen. And they won't that be is against so Moo in the top that act That's like a, a surfer accent. Is that the... Is that the uh, that's that, totally what I went for. What were you actually going for? I'm I have no idea. <laughs> I just, it uh, just went For with some it. reason, I thought of Keanu Reeves in... Thank you. What was that? Uh, That's really damn, nice of you. I can't I'm even actually remember the, the, mo the movie he was in. The movie he became famous for. I'm too old now. Um, I just dated myself. Back to the Future. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. It's just so stupid. Moo taking some harassment from Vance. It's going to end up being a dual lane for Navi. So it's a Juggernaut and Rubik versus the Night Stalker slash Zensheng on Shadow Shaman. Mid lane is going to be the dual lane that we're not expecting. Banana and Rabbit. Banana Rabbit against Dendi. Yeah, Dendi has a really good start, though. He's playing against the Lich Duel seven and, and his 7 CS hits. at minute yeah. 130. And then bottom lane, Goblack, the Bane, along with Warlock versus the Bristleback. And this... Okay, so we may have missed okay, a kill. Okay, how are these kills happening? There may have been another kill. <laughs> Okay, so the I blame Cinderin again. I am not even looking for this kill either. They're playing. What? Well, the, the Juggernaut one makes a little bit more sense. It's Juggernaut Rubik. Both are level two against a Night Stalker Shadow Shaman lane. Night Stalker does not die from this. A, f a full duration Blade Fury plus a Telekinesis will not kill him, but he he has 650 health and after that five armor. But they they managed to find two kills on Mu in the lane, which uh, he's. He's generally a really solid player, but showing some weakness here in the early stages. He'll be porting to mid. They've rotated their lanes around. Mu will be playing mid lane. They'll be moving up the troll to top after he goes back to heal. And as a piece of bonus information, I can tell you that Keanu Reeves became famous for speed. No, it was before that. Okay. And I'm sure it's being said in chat somewhere, but damn it. It's the one where he's, he acts like an idiot. And it's not speed. <laughs> By the way, I'm not missing another kill the rest the of the The Chronicles of Suns fan. That's that's good. That's a really good one. 
I have to say. Yeah, Shadow Fiend. Uh, Dandy's doing really, really nicely in this mid lane. He is 11 and 2 at the current point in time, top lane. Most baiting him in, baiting in the troll. Gobux are coming in with a nightmare. They're saying it's point up. break, Shannon. That's nope, the name of the film. It's not that either. It's before it's that not as point well. break Rubik. either. It's gonna transition Told over. Has telekinesis uh -oh. along with the Fable. Bolt. Rabbit in a lot of trouble. He actually puts him on the other side. A little bit surprising, but the blade fear will be more than enough. In fact, Celeste does get the last hit on that bad Yeah, point. he's looking really good. He's gonna have three Bill minute phase Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. That's the one I'm thinking of. What yep. was that? Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. That's that's a film name I've never even heard before. Really? So, he I guess that's the one that got his, got him famous then, right? I'm positive that's the one that got him famous. Probably. I know nothing about films, or not enough. At least. In in America, we call them movies. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I mean, it's actually interesting that yeah. it is that way. Banana smoked up a solo smoke attempt on the Funic. He has frost blast level two. Funic's gonna try to heal himself. Drops with the, the bad blast. How? Has more than enough damage to finish this off. How many stacks does he have right now? Four. I don't even know. Oh, that's a second. Five. Blast. There we go. Down he goes. Vance for a little bit late on the telekinesis, but he's here. He gets a nice stun. Banana goes down to the fade bolt, surprisingly enough. So a trade of sorts. Some redemption for Navi. That's a that's pretty good. Getting Rubik a solo kill like this to get him to level four. This is a very early level four on Rubik. He's level four, four minutes in on van score and at the same time i mean one thing is the kills now we are winning all three lanes on farm too warlock has 20 cs shadow fiend 18 lane. and there's going to be a raise combo double raise double and brain suck quite enough and here comes the rotation from banana gets a frost blast god black should live through the day well maybe not the day but for now he will Rabbit level 3 versus Juggernaut level 5. And this is exactly what Na'Vi wanted. They dominated top lane very early. Then they can rotate the supports out. And that means Kobos can solo with pretty much no problem. And he is going for the regular build. So it's 1-1 one, one with stats. And eventually... We'll be Would you call that the regular build? I would say in the regular build you have a point in Blade Dance. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. I it's wonder why he's getting triple stats instead of that blade dance point. I still think the value point in the crit mm. is nice. However, this obviously sometimes the crit can work against you if you want to control the lane in a specific way where you hit nice. creeps multiple times. And then sometimes you get, you know that feeling. You get the crit you didn't want and you miss a last hit. That's, or, a, that's why I miss all my last hits. Yeah, that's true. You miss all your last hits because of crits when you're playing Centaur. The double-edged crit, man. Man, that would be <laughs> sick. <laughs> that would be Although cool. you would be taking a lot of damage yourself too, I guess. Did the did that used to be pure damage at one point? Yes, and it used to be single target. And it used to mini stun as well. Top lane, we're gonna have a rotation from San Shang. Gets the shackle, rabbit. Gonna slow first. Then get the whirling axe melee off. Kobos is just gonna TP out with the lane. Oh, he's good to go. He could have been bashed. That's true. There was a a 10% chance on those two swings from rabbit. Did not get the lucky bash though. Bottom rune goes to bristleback. So bristleback level five and a half at the moment. Has his boots. And Buckler will be going for that mech Generation. for Newbie. And does Dendi go for mech on his Shadow Fiend? After the Midas, I think he's going to go mech. Let's see. He is currently... This Curry is going to bottle crow for him. Doesn't get any of the six-minute runes, so... Well, he also has Tommy the choice of going tread. He could also does go he treads mech. kill Rabbit? He's... Probably a little bit afraid of the rotation. I think here. he could kill Rabbit. He can definitely kill Sancho. Yeah. And he's looking for it. For Sancho. once, Kavos is showing some discipline. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, just goes balls deep into thinks about the consequences later. And he's just gonna pull the lane for now. Get some XP that way. I don't think there's gonna be action there. Dendi again versus Moon. Seven versus five. And obviously, it is a dual lane. But Man, Navi are out farming them so last hard. Of course, this does include neutrals. He went treads, by the way. It wasn't going to be Midas. I was going to mention that, but I figured you'd be correct. I should have assumed the worst in you as usual. What? I said I was about... Didn't I say he could, might also go treads mech? I think I said that. Uh, I've never heard you ever say that in your I life. I definitely said that. <laughs> <laughs> ever in your life. Okay. Never in your life have you said that. All right, but anyway... Uh, it was between those two things. So now I think it's the mech next for Dendi. Either that or the Yule's build that we've seen a lot lately. I just want to point out how much Navi are winning these lanes. It's actually kind of ridiculous. There, there's no towers claimed. The kill score is five to, to four. Mouth again here, My mouth will open. 
because you're totally wrong and Phobos is not going to get this in. Is he going to get silenced by the Fripple Fury? No, he gets the Blade Fury off. Telekinesis onto Rubik. By Rubik, of course, I mean Shadow Shaman. It looks like he's going to get another right click, but he gets a nice Shackle off. Going to keep him in place. Down he finally goes. The rotations continue. The heal onto Kavos. No love for Goblock at the current moment in time. Only one kill, but they prevent. That was a really fast Blade Fury by Kavos. I have to say. Yep. Uh oh, Dandy gets frost blasted into a void. There's TP rotation. Two people coming in. It's Goblack. And more than enough to force everybody back for newbie. Look at the kill score. Just the kill score. Yes. Six to four. No towers. Speaking of kill score, top lane having some action. Funic on the run. Doesn't have a TP. He's going to use his chaotic offering on the bristleback and rabbit with the fatal bonds. Doesn't look like it's going to be enough to get the kill. Yeah, he dropped it behind the bristle. Drop really at the base. Kavos is here though. He has Omni Slash. He's not gonna catch Really up, itching though. to use it. Okay, maybe he is. No. He's really itching to use it, but. Not All right, give me your guess. Dyer's What's the gold lead of Navi? There are two kills ahead at nine minutes. Dyer's well, are obviously, no towers. What the answer is gonna be? It's gonna be like, okay, no towers. Uh, 2K. Okay, check it. I'm afraid of missing a kill, which I might be in mid lane. Oh God! Oh God! Got black. It's a nightmare off, and he's going to be good to go. So I, there, If there, I look at a graph, you have to actually watch. Yeah, I, I am watching your okay. screen. So 4K, basically. They're 4,000 gold ahead on laning. Pretty. I can't remember the last time That's ever extreme. Seen Telekinesis oh on the rabbit. Oh, my goodness. The Chaotic Offering Golem is still up. It finally dies. It did so much damage. Blade Fury doing quite a bit to Hal. He's going to focus his pressures onto Vanscore, who looks to be dead with the Chain Frost, in fact. Didn't even need that. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. Oh, I can understand he used it there. It's it is still had him with Dendi. Void. So the Treads mech that you did not suggest will be the pickup for him. <laughs> and it is 7 to 5, but yeah, look at the last hit. Again, it is a little bit skewed because of the neutrals, but in fact, let's just look at net, net worth then. So Havos and Dendi on top of their team and on top of the game. And the closest for a newbie is the Bristleback. Ooh. Mm. He's going to have his mech. Does, is it coming on the courier? Yeah, he's going to have a full mech now, so. A full one. Kobos still wants to use Omni, so he's like, please. Yeah, banana. Oh, dead. he's dead. He is very... De Easy. Peace. Does he even need to use it? Yeah, he's going to use it. He's going to get peeled. Dominating. Banana gets peeled. <laughs> All right, I, I, I'll i give it to you. I like that. What about Rabbit? <laughs> he's going to get... Shot point blank range with a bullet through the skull. I was going to say plucked, but that's more of a chicken. And then <laughs> going to pluck around. <laughs> then he's going to get cooked. What about Moo? That's a cow. He's going to get... Uh... <laughs> How's that a cow? Because cows go Moo. Bam, I didn't even pick up on that. I want to kill myself. <laughs> 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 I actually didn't get that. <laughs> wow, okay. Right, he's Moo, gonna... that's a cow. How's <laughs> Moo? <laughs> <laughs> you are the worst. <laughs> oh. Funix is going to have Chaotic offering in 12 seconds. Radiant's bottom lane, bottom tower, being pressured. Looks like, the, looks like uh, Navi's just going to give it up. And you've always said this is the most important Radiant tower for the Radiant. Just barely outclassing the mid. Radiant's bottom tier tower one. is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower Man, I, I still, just going forward in this game, I want to see Newbie with some sort of game plan. It's it's kind of funny, the last game, so do you remember, the, do you remember yesterday? Dyer's the last game... <laughs> The last game of yesterday, Bruno was like, Newbie had a plan. When the game ended and Newbie lost, Bruno was like, Newbie had a plan, and then he was about to say what the plan was, and Winter immediately said, no, they didn't. <laughs> they did not have a plan. I'm feeling the same way about this game, honestly. Like, they have a draft. That, in that game, they also had a draft that could easily work. They have a draft that can work. I have no idea what the plan is for this lineup. I, I can't see what they're doing right now. If you look at the draft, it's clear they want to early, they want to find fights, and based off those fights, they want to take tower. Use Mass Serpent Wards for the towers. Control the laning stage. They want to find farm. Like, But now they're just... It's oh, so chaotic what's going again, on. Again, extremely TP out. fast. He can just TP. And away he goes. So... Newbie are just all over the place. And there's no... There's in a no, bad way. Yes, in a bad way. They're all over the place. There's no clear game plan. They're losing their towers. They're losing their heroes. They're getting totally out-farmed. It's very rare for a top tier team to have the highest CS on their team be 50 at minute 12 and a half when you're running three physical damage cores. It's just nothing has worked really worked out for them and 
At this point in time, I think it's time you find a smoke gank or something and, and turn it into a tower. There is a smoke on Banana. They have all their ultimates ready apart from Darkness, which they don't really need because it's nighttime anyway, and Mass Serpent Watch, which are ready in 10 I seconds. have a really dumb question. Yeah, I you, bet. You've had a dumb question. You, you had a dumb moment earlier, so I'm allowed to have one to counteract. <laughs> okay. What is it called when you're getting milk out of a cow's um, thingy? To milk? Yeah, to milk a cow. Is, yeah. there, is there a term for it? That's called to milk. No, there's got to be something else. No, it's called to milk. All right, that sucks. All right, so I was going to say when Moo dies, I'm going to say he's getting milked, but that doesn't They're going to get peeled, milked, and shot in the face. Goblack's going to find the Roshan attempt being taken out. Banana, oh my. Well, Goblack suicides himself, but they have the information. Chaotic Offer used on everybody, along with the Fatal Bonds. Lich Ult is bouncing. Onto the Golem mostly and back to Roshan. Vanscore taking a lot of damage on the run. Denny does get a record for Souls off. It's a triple kill for Denny. He's looking for more. The Bristleback ability for Howe is extremely strong. He's not going to go up against that. It's a 3 for 2 overall. Serpent Wards are still in place in the Roche pit. They're going to clean them up. Do you think they can get Roche? I don't know. Mm. With Howe here at half health. I think he's going to disrupt them. I think they're going to just give up. But. That was a really good chain frost, actually. It kept bouncing between Vost and Roche. And because of that, he does end up being taken down. But he's the only one. I'm surprised Navi didn't lose any more heroes there, considering Dendi didn't even use the mech. They didn't need it. That's still... That's pretty scary. But, of course, Warlock with a great chaotic offering from Phonic. Gets the Fatal Bonds up as well. I'm not sure if he used upheaval there. Didn't see it. So I was very focused on the chain frost. And it's... Honestly, it, this high, th that's the problem I have with Lich in general, is that... The chain frosts are typically underwhelming, especially in high-level games where it's very easy to dodge. But of course, in the rush pit, it's extremely difficult. And when you have a big, enormous neutral creep that will not die to the chain frost and allow it to bounce consistently, then it will work out in your advantage. So it's good to see. Smoke by I'll Navi. As tribute. It's looking. Oh, uh -oh, take it with that invis. The invis. They have no the idea. Of the Souls is not up for 30 seconds, however. But they're getting all the intel they need. And Vanscore looking for a telekinesis. We have a blink by Danny. He gets sheep right away. Upheaval is there to slow everybody in place. Kobost has Blade Fury. Just going to right click for now. Omni slash it down for another 35 seconds. They're going to get two extremely easy kills, if not more. Banana. He's going to get peeled, as Cinder would say. And oh, down he goes to the second raise nice. of Denny. That is three kills in a matter of seconds. And now how? Stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. In the middle of a bunch of trees. Goblock has Nightmare up in two seconds if they need to use it. But these right clicks just hurt. Triple kill for Hovost. Hadn't even talked about the synergy between Shadow Fiend and Bristleback. But of course it's fairly obvious with the minus armor. And we're seeing it come to fruition right now. That was even without Chaotic Offering. That's kind of scary. They run into team fight. Goblet, get, Goblet gets a full duration grip off on the Night Stalker. They land a couple of AoE abilities, and especially Upheaval. The moment the battlefield is set and Funnic gets to full channel and Upheaval, Newbie's lineup that's very dependent on being mobile just gets completely shut down. We didn't really talk about that earlier. I was suggesting Puck as the solution for oh, that. Oh, Sanchang's going for Funnic. Puts down the wards, not able to, but it's going to block the path if nothing else. He falls very shortly after. Dandy taking a lot of pressure from Rabbit and company. It looks as if he will finally go down as well. So it's a one for one overall. Goblack stuck in the wrong place as well, but he gets a brain tap, and there's the Omni Slash to finish him off. Kovos, continue with the right clicks. Has Mask of Madness activated. Still Frost Blast slowing him quite a bit, and the Ice Armor as well. Banana on the run. The crit takes him to the grave. But they're going to find more newbie heroes as well. So Goblack. He's going to try to sacrifice himself. There's a Chaotic Offering along with the Upheaval Moo attempting to run away, but the Golem is just going to bash your face in. And away he goes. How? Just look at he the Upheaval. literally just can barely move at all. Most just should run to the front of it. There we go. He's a good boy. Oh, Goblin almost died. That is a close. full five-man wipe, and they lost Shadow Fiend. This game is out of hand. Like, newbie are about 1,000 gold per minute behind. Tower That's insane. That's This is my good old benchmark for when you're losing a game and almost never come back. A thousand GPM is... I want to say it has a nine... Not even kidding, 99.9% .9 win rate when you have a thousand GPM lead at 20 minutes. Something like that. There might have been... I think I saw a stat at some point where it was 432 to zero. But there might have been one win since then or something. But this this uh, this lead for Navi is extreme. Almost 15k gold at 17. The experience at 12,000. If Newbie come back from this, it's going to be an even bigger miracle than if they come back in the tournament in general. So... Wow, this is just not looking good. 
They're initiate the way they're Dyer's initiating into the fights. They're getting the warlock is destroying them, and we were a little skeptical about the pick, but we didn't think about how good upheaval would be. And that's really just set the fights if, the if they don't stop funning. Mask of madness on troll. Well, not the typical. Pick when up. when else would we see it than now? They must be going mad at this point. Maybe they're just showing their feelings I mean, and their dissatisfaction before, with though, the right? tournament. You've seen it before. It's just. It's extremely rare. I, I don't know when he's rare. getting it. Maybe it's his solution to try to move inside the upheaval. It does give quite a bit of move speed. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Tier one tower. But he's, he's also just gonna die with three attacks from death. So there goes the tier one. I think they're gonna kind of go on to the tier two. Healing ward is ready. Sanjin Yasha as well as Mask of Here's oh, the thing. Okay. Slash. Okay. Bye bye Lich. He wanted to ice armor the tower. <laughs> He did it. It yeah. gets three armor, Look and then he dies. These, Look at all these guys affected by the ice. Okay. Uh, the problem is they can't fight Radiant's without Serpent Wards in the fight, fallen. but they just use it for a tier one top. So Rabbit's just going to continue to push, and I doubt he's even going to I think Navi's going to go for Rex. Dendi, getting close to a BKB, not even fallen. needed at this point. Blink Dagger now on Van score. Healing War continuing to do work. Three levels in that. It's a 1 3 3 build. Radiant's Very strange. It's level 14. Too, so. <laughs> Put a lot into stats. Dyer's Tier 3 is down. Of course, remember, they don't have the circle wars. Okay, here we go. This might be the last stand for Newbie. What a okay, you just used Battle Trance, but they're not committing. So now Battle Trance is over when they are committing. They're gonna go oh, over the first. There's the feed script onto Hauke. Yannick offering to follow. He has his face just facing everybody. Gets demolished as a result, and Dendi. This is just so over, it's not even funny. For boss, already used Omni Slash earlier on the Lich. They're gonna clean up this racks and GG's come out. At this point, it just feels like maybe. I don't even know. They're not even. They're on, not on the same page. It's almost as if they're not trying. I don't. It's just tough to believe. It's been it's been funny with the you know the the irony in the team called Newbie winning TI4. But in this tournament, it's really fitting so yeah. far. They have really, against the teams that are doing well, they have looked like beginners, which is really a shame to say, because all of Newbie's players are so incredibly talented. They're all really, really good. But something has just gone wrong with this team. Their, their chemistry isn't there. They're making bad decisions. They're not farming enough. Their lane synergy isn't there. Their drafting has been mediocre the entire tournament. There's just like n almost nothing no point of brightness for this team at all. and I mean, now their score is going to be 1 in 10. They have to win the remaining four to have a shot at 12th place and getting to the main event, but at this point it just seems... Yeah, I don't it seems that. impossible. Absolutely impossible. Okay. And by the way, I was right. About what? The game ended at minute 1943. You're right. So I was actually closer than I thought it would be. I was like, this is kind of a gamble that it's going to be shorter, but yeah, 20 I, minutes is what I it's... I figured that... Basically, this is the last day that Newbie can um, try to mount a comeback. And yeah. if they're not going to start now, I don't think they're going to start ever. I mean, they, I, might, they might win a game against HGT or something, but yeah. I, thought I don't know. I was, I was pretty confident Navi were going to win the game. Let's, we both were, really sure. But for them to win it sub-20 was not what I expected when I said 20. I was thinking maybe 20 to 25 was more yeah. likely than beyond 30, but this Newbie team is just falling apart. Yep. It's and a shame, after that but that's the game. I, I don't even think they beat HGT. I think HGT is playing okay. Um, so yeah, they they go to 1 and 10. MVP Phoenix, the only one close at 1 and 9 currently. And Navi goes to 7 and 4. And that means they're tied with Big God for... Navi could end top 4 now. Yeah, they, they're in a discussion. And after day 1, that's pretty huge. Yeah. All right, so coming up next on the mainstream will be, let's see, Cloud9 versus Vici Gaming. That should be a good game. Yep. On this stream, it's going to be Secret versus Rave with LD and Merlini. And on BTS2 with Coddle Guy, Tong Fu versus Big God. So, thanks for watching, friends. Um, when are you casting next, Sint? I have... I have, a quite a, I have a bit of a break. Yeah, mine is even longer, I think. Okay, so you have a two-game break, then you're casting Why, with LT. I like how you chuckled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to have a, a three-game break, you're going to have a two-game break, then you will be casting with LD on the mainstream for Newbie versus HGT. 
your, your, your the one game you think Noob is going to win Not for the anymore. rest of the tournament? Not anymore. Not anymore? No. Oh. And then we will be casting together Rave versus Big God on the mainstream. And then finally, after that, we're casting... I'm casting one with Zyori up here, and then one with you. Sounds good. Or wait, maybe the... Yes, we are. That's right. Sounds good. Okay, boys right. and girls. Till next time. See you later. Stop looking into the camera now. Switch. All right, I'm going to mute their mic so you don't say something stupid.